Hello family, I'm wishing each and everyone a Merry Christmas. Today's recipe, I'm going to show you how I make the best and authentic Ghanaian okra soup. This is really delicious, so easy to prepare. This Christmas, you can share this recipe with your friends and loved ones. I know you want to learn how I made this amazing okra soup. So don't waste time friends. Let's get into the kitchen and let's cook something very great. All right, friends, this okra soup is very easy. Okay, friends, so to get started, you need okra or okra. And I'm using two packs of okra. Like I always say, depending on your family size, you can use more or you can use less. Okay, it doesn't have to be the same amount that I'm using. But with this recipe, I'm just using two packs of okra. And after we get it ready, we're just gonna wash it. And we're washing this twice. This Christmas, this is a very delicious recipe that you can easily share with your loved ones. This recipe is actually my favorite. When I was in Ghana, I remember Christmas time, my mom used to prepare this all the time. So after we wash our okra, we're just gonna grind it or you're gonna cut it into pieces whichever way that you want to do it but since we have greater that is what we are going to use for now so I'm using the bigger size and the small size in which that I'm gonna divide this okra into two sessions okay so I'm gonna grind some in the small pieces and other ones like in a chunk in which I will show you in the minute so as you can tell this side is very little so you can just grind it you know and it will come out very small that is my preference but if you like to cut them into big size you can do so so this is what i was starting to tell you i divide this okra into two this is the one i use my grater to grind and the remaining ones i'm just gonna blend it in the blender so i'm gonna add baking soda this is about a half teaspoon of baking soda and next i'm gonna add about two cups of water and i'm gonna blend it together so I don't want to lose the slimy of this okra so that is the reason why I added it and when you blend it together you can tell the difference you can tell so after we are done with our okra I'm just gonna keep adding my meat I have my pot on the stove and I have here my cow skin I have my mushroom this is a very authentic mushroom that I found from a Mexican grocery store and next I have here some shrimp and I'm gonna add my fish with this recipe you can add chicken if you want you can add beef you can add lamb you can add goats any meat of your choice at all but since you are trying to stay a little bit in the healthy side so i'm adding fish and i'm trying to make it this very healthy so everybody can easily cook it at home as well so next i just add habanero pepper and i'm adding my tomatoes and i just chopped about one medium sized onion and i'm adding in there and this is authentic Ghana Momone fermented fish. Okro soup with fermented fish. Mm, delicious. Eh, dankasa. Why okro soup? Ghana Momone too. It is nice. So next, I'm adding my seasoning. So I have here garlic powder and ginger powder. You have to use any seasoning of your choice. But this is what I have in my pantry. So this is what I'm using. And I have here my emokosam. That is pepper powder. They're very, very spicy. So if you use it, you have to be very, very careful. Next, I add in my salt. This is about two teaspoons of salt just to start. And after that, I'm gonna add about three cups of water. And this is what we're gonna use to steam our fish, okay? All right, friends, so go ahead and cover and leave it on to cook for about seven minutes. So back to the okra. This is the remaining ones because since I uh, divided it into two, so I'm gonna add um, the blended one together with that. I'm gonna give it a very good stir. This is very, very simple and very, very easy. Yeah, don't add any water at all, okay? So just like that, we're gonna cook it in the stove. And please use a medium heat, okay? So let's just check our soup and see how it's doing. Since my tomato have now prepared, they are all done. We're gonna remove all of them and blend it. Mm. The soup is smelling so nice. So let's check the okra and see how it's doing. So it has been on the stove for about seven good minutes and that is perfect. 
So with this recipe, you have to cook the okra halfway, not completely cooked, okay? Because you're gonna cook it in the soup. So if you completely cook your okra, you won't get that slimy, okay? So don't lose that. So the soup is really, really nice actually. It is ready, so I'm just gonna cover it halfway and then let it steam for just five minutes. Hmm, beautiful. So next I have my tomato habanero blend. And I just blended this a halfway. As you can see, there are some pieces of the tomato in there. That is the secret of making delicious okra soup. Okay, trust me, try this recipe and you will be really amazed. So next I'm gonna add my okra or okra. It is ready. Mmm, mmm. It's looking really, really nice and very tempting. It's like you're looking at it and you feel like you're gonna eat it right now. That is how beautiful this recipe is. But friends, we are not done yet. So I just chopped my spinach. If you don't have spinach in abroad, that's what we have. So that's what I'm adding. You can add ayoyo leaves or unkuntumu leaves, bitter leaves, you know, whichever greens that you have, just please feel free and use. But with this recipe, I just added spinach, okay? And then just make sure that you stir. You can just easily stir as many times that you want. And this okra stew will still come perfect. All right, friends. So I just diced up about a half medium onion. And I'm going to throw it in there. I just want to taste this crunchiness of this onion. Yeah, that is an option though. You don't have to do it. But trust me, it is very nice when you add onion in there. So you just want to let it cook for about 10 minutes and our okra soup will be ready. But today we are going to enjoy this with authentic Ghana Kun Kun Te. Face the wall. Hey! Missy A Chai. Our so papa Kun Kun Te. This is dried cassava powder. It is not fufu. It is different from fufu because it has a very different taste and texture. But trust me, this is very very nice and I like my heart be a possum <laughs> all right friends so as you can tell our soup is ready our kunkunte also is ready but with this recipe you can enjoy with your eba or banku or kinky okay just enjoy this beauty right here i just hope that you will try this recipe because well, this is just the recipe that you will love to share with someone special okay all right so this is how i prepare my okra soup and i hope you really enjoy cooking with me in the kitchen and please friends, if you truly love Obapa recipe, don't forget to share this video with your friends. And don't forget to comment if you have any question and like. It is very, very important when you share with your friends, okay? Alright guys, so everybody is invited. So thank you so much for watching and cooking with me in the kitchen today. Until I come your way, stay safe, stay joyful. Afishapu!